Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and today we're at Legoland California for the opening of the water park for the 2024 season. So let's get going. And here it is, the Legoland water park and Chima water park. Though I don't believe Chima will be open. Uh, right off to the left here, you can purchase tickets when you get here if you did not buy a park hopper option whenever you booked your tickets to come here. Uh, water park admission is $30 additionally on top of your regular park ticket. It says for ages two and up, $5 for a one-year-old and we can head on into the park. Now, every year, the big question is, what is gonna be open? What's gonna be closed? Because it's not really like prime water park season yet. So that's what we're here to find out. We're gonna show you everything that's open. We're gonna ride as many slides as we can and just have a good time today. Right inside the entrance, they do have these dryers, which might be something that you would be interested in. Some quick dry uh, ability there. And there's even some build stations in here, fun little play stations like they have throughout the park, but they've got one for the water park as well. But then we're gonna make our first stop, the lockers over off to our left, just inside the entrance to the park. Uh, you can get a medium locker for $12 or a large for 16. After you pay, they'll print out one of these bracelets. Um, they only had the option to get one. Sometimes they can have more, but only one right now. So one person will have to man the bracelet. And we scan this here and one of them pops open locker number seven okay so this is the large for 16 dollars is how much space you get we'll put our stuff in and show you some more okay so we have two backpacks a larger backpack in there and a standard lounge fly there's a little bit more space over here off to the left of course there's space up there as well this will give you a good idea how much you can fit in here well at this point we are now using the gopro so i apologize for the change in audio it's going to be waterproof so we're going to use it to go down a lot of slides Right next to all the lockers, we do have some bathrooms and then they also have these uh, cleansing stations if you would rather like wash off your feet and things. Um, there is, I think there is sand here in parts of the water park if I remember right. So that would be very helpful for you to know. Another thing that's gonna be helpful for you to know is that they do have life vests available. So you don't need to bring your own. Uh, you will need to bring your own towel, but not your own life vest. And right here is the Duplo Splash Safari. So this is for the littlest kids. There are some slides over there, as you can see. Uh, but again, just a pretty shallow, fun little area for the littlest kids. And right across from that is the Beachfront Grill, which is one of the food locations here at the Legoland Water Park. Let's uh, poke in here and see what they have on the menu. And a quick look at their menu. They have gourmet burritos, gourmet wraps, personal pizza, salads, and uh, some kids' kits. About the same thing that they had last year. And here is some footage of the food that we got uh, the last time that we were here. We're not eating in the water park today because we already ate before the water park opened. However, uh, you can see some of the food options from last year. From that little play station, we are going to turn left. The Lazy River entrance is straight ahead. They got some walls up this year. Don't remember seeing that, but it does look like that Lazy River is open, which is a big question mark. I think it was last year, but the previous year it was not. We've seen the Lazy River uh, being closed before during these earlier times of the year, but not today, thankfully, Lazy River is available. Now we're coming up here to the main sort of center of the Legoland water park. And this is gonna be where a lot of chairs are and things. A quick look at the Lazy River as we're passing by. Not a lot of people in it just this minute, but we do have some bricks floating through. They've got bricks for kids to play with, pretty fun for them. And we'll pop over here, you can see the inner tubes to the Lazy River over there, the entrance to the Lazy River right there, and we have a celebrity with us today. Where, where, where? Celebrity, where, where? <laughs> David from Woo! Big Red Journeys. Oh, you should have. More, more, more. <laughs> oh, he's gonna Hello be, there. He's gonna be hanging out with us here today. As uh, tradition holds. Yes, as tradition. But contrary to normal tradition, look, beautiful sun. A beautiful sun. And here it is, the main area of the water park. They got this fun little central icon. And then we have the Joker Soaker, which uh, hopefully it will drop its bucket soon. And we'll be able to get a lovely view of the dump bucket here. But until then, uh, I am gonna poke down here. So we have uh, Orange Rush, which is a family slide that we're gonna go on together. 
And then we have, um, oh, I don't remember the name of some of these other uh, slides, but the blue slide is a body slide. And then the red slides over there, they are racing slides. There it is, here it goes. Here it goes, it's coming. Get in there, James, get in there. Get in there. There it goes. The dump bucket. That's their version of a dump bucket, the Joker Soaker. Now they do have cabanas. Uh, they apparently are not open at the moment, or at least none are being rented today, but they've got cabanas available for purchase. These are pretty pricey. I don't have the prices in front of me, but the, I think several hundreds of dollars, but you have the whole day and it's like a little uh, place to, to get away. I think they also have some refreshments in there, like water and things. But uh, these chairs out here, they're completely free. Uh, well, I mean, free, you paid to get into the water park, but grab yourself a chair, put down some towels, and those will be your spot. Nobody's gonna move them. There's no uh, rules or anything like that about how long your stuff can sit there. So yeah, just grab a spot. Okay. And that's what we usually do. And then get to go on some of these water slides here. Oh, beautiful day, beautiful, beautiful day. You could not ask for a better opening day for the water park. It is March 16th, by the way, March 16th. They opened a whole week early this year. I don't believe it's open during the week this week, but then starting next week, March 23rd, they will be open daily through the end of the water park season. First up, we are doing Orange Rush, which has a minimum height requirement of 42 inches. We have to go up this green stairs here. It's a bit of a tip to do Orange Rush first because this can get quite a bit of a line as the day goes on and more people come into the water park. So if you come straight to the water park, kind of like rope drop the water park, if you will, and then come up to Orange Rush, you'll be able to avoid a long line here for this attraction. Here's the line for the blue slide right there. We'll do that in just a little bit. And here's Orange Rush. And we get to walk right on big inner tube family slide. You're cold. It's not that bad. It's 65 and sunny. <laughs> it's better than last year. Sorry. Here it goes. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. David always ends up going backwards. It never fails. Never fails. Never fails. Benjamin's backwards. What a fantastic first ride! The water is so warm. That's one thing that I love about the Legoland water park. We have gone to several water parks on opening day. Sesame Place in particular I'm thinking of. And it also opens in March. And that is that water is frigid. For for frigid. But no, Legoland Water Park nice and warm Ooh, good temperature makes you never want to get out of the water <laughs> in fact now that you're a little wet you're probably colder uh -huh. because the air uh -huh. but in the water wasn't too bad was it it was nice in the water so lazy river soon <laughs> <laughs> i think that's where we're going to find amy for about an hour probably <laughs> what did you think of orange rush good <laughs> was it great yes what do you want to do right now lazy river Oh, how about more slides? No. <laughs> Lazy River. Then you can go with mommy. Yeah. <laughs> James, do you want more slides? Yes. All right, splash out. We gonna go to splash out? Yeah. Splash out. Oh, Benjamin changed his mind. <laughs> so because we're doing the blue slide right there, I do want you to know that they do not allow water shoes on the attraction. So off they go, David. And uh, your hat, is your hat okay? My hat, no, they tell me to take the hat off, but why I get this hat in particular is because it folds down real nicely and then... Just shove it in your pocket. But I can always do that too. Great, all right. So, Splash Out uh, is also a minimum height requirement of 42 inches. And a minimum weight. Minimum weight, oh, maximum weight of 300 pounds. Maximum weight of 300 pounds, it said. We're gonna go up the green stairs. They did ask me to leave my sunglasses in my pocket or, you know, downstairs as well. I completely forgot about those. They were just on my face, so I've taken them off now. Here comes Benjamin. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Here comes James. There he goes. 
Jesus, lay back, lay back. Ah! He's gonna go down slow because he's sitting up. You can go a little faster if you lay down. Away we go. If you are enjoying this video and finding it helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button. We're going to be back here at Legoland next week for the opening of Dino Valley. Hope you'll join us. Woo! Got some sunscreen in my mouth now. Or is that chlorine and sunscreen? Yeah. Next up, we're doing twin chasers, which are the double racing red slides. Again, minimum height requirement, 42 inches, 300 pounds per slide, maximum restriction. And we have to go up another green staircase. Now these are racers, twin chasers, means that you can race somebody else to the bottom. They are the same length, same distance. See who gets to the bottom fastest. A little bit of a delay on twin chasers. Um, we just got told no GoPros on twin chasers. Odd, because we did it last year. We're just checking uh, to make sure that's the case. We're waiting for a response. Uh, so that we can, you know, go down and show you that, guys. So until then, we're just going to walk around some of the other water park. There's plenty of stuff to do here, and uh, I'm excited to show it to you. So here is the entrance to Chima. We just came from up this path right here. If you go down that way, it's towards the, the main center where we've been hanging out. But Chima Water Park is right here. There is a sign that says, we'll reopen this summer. That's pretty typical. Around June or so, I don't have an exact date, but I feel like around June is when they tend to open up the Chima Water Park. Pirate Reef over here, we were, weren't sure if this was going to be open or not. Uh, Pirate Reef is open and you can access this ride from the regular Legoland theme park. You don't have to be a water park guest to come on this ride. It actually has access to both sides, water park and non-water park. And it's about to come down here. Uh, oh, it's an empty boat. But uh, the water in Pirate Reef is freezing cold. So I'm not sure I want to do that today. But a uh, major boat water flume type ride. And yeah, look at that. Look at all those, those water jets there. There's one more thing over here that I want to show you that I think in all the times I've been coming to the Legoland water park, I've never seen it open. Or if it was open, I must have bypassed it. So let's go check it out. And that's going to be this awesome kids water play area. It's kind of like a pirate ship. You can see this pirate ship from outside the water park in the main park. Every year I've seen it, I've never seen the water going. And this year it's on and wow, is that water hitting at full force. There's a big dump bucket right there too. Let's see if we can get up there. We're gonna walk over here. We're gonna go up the pirate ship. Uh, wow, this is dangerous. Oh wow, that's cold. That water's cold. I don't know that I wanna go up there now. We're gonna go real quick, real quick, real quick. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, that's cold. Cold water. Cold water. So we got some we got some bridges up here. Little water features. Oh man. Oh, that water geyser. That water geyser right there. We're going to go this way. Up the rope. Up the rope. Oh, okay. All right. We're under the dump bucket. We can get a little bit better view maybe. There's a little dump bucket right here. A smaller dump bucket. There's a splash battle. Like I said, you could see the ride from out there. Let's go down here. Got another rope, oh, rope to come down. Ooh, what do we got? There's Splash Battle and an airplane. Like I said, you can see the regular water park from here or the regular theme park. There is a little slide down here and James just went down it. This water is freezing, frigid cold. And uh, there's the back to the mat racers. We'll have to go check that out in a little bit. But, uh, <laughs> pretty cold, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna go down this way. Seems a little safer. No water splashing me over here. So these slides are closed. They have some metal bars in front of them. It looks like, are these more lockers back here? These look like these might be more lockers. Yeah, there's more lockers back this way. Yeah. And uh, those changing rooms? Yeah, more changing rooms too. So they got lockers and changing rooms back here. Now we're gonna walk along this path over to the mat racers. Now I'm cold, I hope this water's warmer. See, here's the beach portion. I did tell you that there was sand here at Legoland, so you get uh, some sand on your feet. I mean, you could always wash it off right here too. Now, let's see if this is warm, I'm hoping. 
that this little portion here is warm. Uh, yeah, this water is so much warmer. All right, perfect, perfect. Ah. Go ahead, go run through there. Run through, ah! 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 <laughs> here are the mat racers. Let's watch some people go down the mat racers. I can't film these ones either, but this is just because the, the GoPro can't really film these. The way that the slides are arranged, it's hard for the GoPro to get them. So we're gonna come over here a little bit closer and get some people uh, going down the, the mat race slides here, just so you can see them quickly as they pass by. Here, here they come. Here they come. Oh, look how fun. Look how fun that looks. Super awesome. Now I think we're gonna work our way towards the lazy river. We gotta find David. I don't know where David went. David disappeared. Hey, it's time for Build a Raft River. The lazy river. Again, they do have some life jackets here available for you. And here it is, Build a Raft River. To enter alone, you must be 42 inches, but you can be under 42 with a supervising companion at least 18 years of age. Oh, actually, okay. The entrance is still uh, the entrance is still the same. They just, for some reason, they have this this wood wall up now. Makes it look like it's closed, but it's not. Never fear. There's David. Oh, there he is. Okay, right in time for the lazy river. We're getting in the lazy river, and I'm gonna ride it this style. Uh, what is this style? Well, it's like this, where I'm I'm holding the inner tube because I want most of my body to be in the water. It's a pretty chilly today, like I said, 64, 65 degrees. At least it's sunny. That's the beautiful part. But uh, I do want to keep my body in this nice, warm, relaxing water. I'm sure we'll stay in the Lazy River for quite some time. Go around a couple of times. And be careful if you don't notice the shark, you almost missed it. Woo! I just got misted. No matter how much I try to get him to slow down, Benjamin just keeps racing forward. He's a free spirit. So, He's a free spirit. I need to go keep up with him. Got it! Yo, you got a block! Oh, oh, crash. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to catch up to my kids. I'm gonna... Go right past you. What'd you do? I got a single brick. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. Here. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I did. <get it. laughs> you pushed me into a water shooter. You pushed me into a water shooter. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, are you gonna are you pushing me into something now? Yeah. What are you pushing me into now? No. I got this Nothing. Nothing? You missed the shark or the shark misted you? It misted me. <laughs> I screamed. You screamed? I screamed. Tornado. Tornado? Yeah. Oh, Benjamin the tornado. Oh, James the tornado beside him. Tornado. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Should I be worried that I just heard Benjamin going, oh no. Yeah, he's in the tube, oh, but he's no, standing. He's, um, <laughs> just going under the penguin. But, okay. <laughs> well, let's get him, let's get him. <laughs> <laughs> Payback. Here's payback. Oh, it missed you. Oh, he's jumped on my back. Oh, right now, my Okay, we're gonna go around again. That's fine. So we are on our third round through the Lazy River now. Obviously not filming every inch of it or anything like that. To be honest with you, there's not a whole lot more that we can do here today. We can do the mat racers, which I mean, I already showed you. Um, 
and we've got the twin chasers but basically we'll just go down the slides a couple of times enjoy our time again i don't necessarily want to feel every like film every micro second of it because you've already seen everything once and that's just kind of the main thing show you everything once the Chima Water Park, let's talk about that for a minute. What is in the Chima Water Park? Well, they do have another like splash pad area called Cragger's Swamp. It's got a big alligator. It is loads of fun. Gets very, very busy when it is open. And then they have the um, Lion Wave Pool. I don't remember if that's the official name of it. I'm sure that there's like a Lego specific name for it, but there's a wave pool. And up in by that wave pool, there is a, another food location that sells burgers. Uh, again, it's not open right now, but those are the only two things that are really in that closed Chima water park area. Again, that should be opening. I don't know his exact date, but I feel like it was June last year. So you, if you're coming after June, you can always hope the Chima is open. The lazy river tricked me into thinking it was very warm and cozy. Now that I've gotten out, that wind is quite biting. Even though it's beautiful and sunny, and even though that water is really warm, it's quite nippy once the wind starts hitting you. Now, in general, I feel like we spent about two and a half to three hours when we come to the Legoland water park just to give you an idea of how much time we spent here could you spend longer absolutely uh, especially on a warmer day it's so nice it's so relaxing it's so refreshing to come here uh, to the water park and uh, yeah that just hopefully give you an idea we're actually only stayed about an hour today just because it is a little bit chillier and we have other things to do here today but uh, on average about two and a half hours uh, so you went and did the mat racer right how was it yeah Good. Good? I got third place. You got third place. How many people were racing? Five. Five? Oh, nice. And uh, David, David, where'd you go? And uh, you went on the mat racer too, didn't you, sir? I did, yes, sir. How, how was it? Uh, it was fun until I started dragging my feet and my knees on there and it hurt like crazy, but it was still... <laughs> but, but way, for me, that was a one and done, I think. Yeah. So the only thing we didn't get to film for you here today were the twin chasers, the red slides here. Uh, honestly, they're pretty dark. I'm gonna put some footage from uh, last year's. Uh, they, they let us film last year. And so this is what it looks like. Again, pretty dark in there. Can't really see very much, but uh, it'll give you an idea what it looks like. Well, that's it for our time here today at the Legoland Water Park, showing you everything that's open for the 2024 season. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you have questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. Click this video to keep watching. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again next time.